Mechanical completion signifies the completion of construction and installation and is the point in time where the construction team hands over the new systems to the commissioning team to start testing the new systems. At mechanical completion, the construction team is responsible to hand over an accurate set of red line drawings to the commissioning team. Drawings are marked up to indicate any as-left conditions in the field. Drawing markups are typically indicated in red, green, and blue. Any red markups indicate additions, any green markups indicate deletions, and any blue markups indicate additional comments. At mechanical completion, the construction and commissioning teams will jointly walk the systems to verify that installed equipment matches P&ID drawings. The verification of P&ID drawings will verify that all piping is installed per the drawing, all valves are installed, and any pressure gauges are correctly in place. As well, all electrical checks are completed, which typically includes measuring cables to confirm insulation properties, and point-to-point -point wiring checks to confirm that wiring is installed correctly and is the correct polarity. Any mechanical or electrical deficiencies that are noted at mechanical completion are added to the deficiency list or punch list and categorized as Type A, Type B, or Type C. All Type A deficiencies must be rectified before moving on to the next stage of commissioning. This is one of the topics covered in my three-day mini-course on commissioning and startup. To get started with the full course, please go to commissioningandstartup.com where you can sign up for free. My name is Paul Turner and I want to help you survive and thrive in your commissioning career.